This is a sample lesson from my newest cutie class on drawing and painting 10 woodland cuties. If you'd like to learn how to make the other nine, check out the link in the description. Okay, so let's illustrate a snail. It's very simple. All you have to do is start with a circle. And now we're gonna do his little neck. So we're gonna have a line that kind of comes out like this. Another one that goes towards that one until they meet. Now we're gonna take a line right above that and just kind of do a half circle type thing and just kind of round it out and have it connect to where it ends. So this is going to be the shell. You can make it smaller if you like. You could make like a really small shell and a really big head. That could be pretty cute. It's up to you. I do think I want to make the head a little bigger so I'm just going to draw it in. Here's my new circle up here. For the eyes, you just do two parallel lines on each side and then a circle. And then we're going to put the eye right inside of it. I'm going to do eyelashes this time because it just looks so cute and quirky. And a little smiley right here. It's already super cute. Now to make the shell, all we do is do one circle. Well, it's more like an oval and then a second one right underneath it. And it's okay if it's a little quirky. You're just rounding it out and just making it look like one circle under another one under another one. And we're just gonna make this line either the same or you could do like this kind of shape, whatever you wanna do for where the shell touches the body. Another option is also to do the shell like this and have the body peek out the whole body. So here's the shell and it's above the body this time. So the body comes out and you can see all of it. Up to you, which you like more. I thought it was cuter when it was hiding in the shell, but it's just a personal preference. You can also make the tail stick out the back if you want. Up to you, like I said. So I'm gonna put him on a leaf. So to do the leaf, you just do one line, a simple line, and then we're gonna pretend that's the middle of the leaf and we're just gonna do a little leaf shape. And you can make it bigger or smaller, whatever you want, and a little stem at the end. Very simple, very easy. And you could also make it funny by just making a little bite in here if you want, just by doing three lines like this. And that way it looks like it was already bitten into by maybe the snail, maybe he had a snack. <laughs> and just to make it look like it's really under him, you can also take this line and just draw it out as if you're drawing out the whole leaf, just to make sure that you got it right. And you can always erase that, very easy. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white around the eye because I thought that looked cute, but you can also make the eye completely filled in. This is our snail, we can do whatever we want to him. We can play with it as much as we want. So just have fun with it. I'm gonna add little cheeks. And he's gonna have a little pattern around him, maybe like this, so it looks like a little flower, like I always do. Now if you want to, instead, you could put a little crown on him, or a hat, or anything you like, It'd just be playful. But if you do like something like this, it looks cuter when it's floating for some reason. Just because we have so much stuff going on here, it looks better if it's not touching. So that's it for our sketching portion of the snail. Now let's actually illustrate it. Okay, so I'm gonna sketch it out exactly the way I showed you guys. Now if you have a problem centering him on the page, we can do what we did last lesson and just kind of plan out where the shape is in the middle. Just draw a circle in the middle or an oval in this case. And just make sure it's centered on the page. That looks pretty good to me. So the shell could go here and the leaf could go here. Just very loosely, just make sure proportions are right and it looks like it's good placement. This is a little bit too high, so I'm gonna try again and just put the head a little lower. This is especially important if you plan on framing your illustration because you want it to look centered and just right, especially if you're doing a specific sized paper. Okay, so here's a really rough sketch and that looks about right. So I think I'm gonna make the shell a little bit smaller than my initial sketch. And you can make the eyes even bigger if you want. Like I said before, bigger eyes can be cuter and they just give a lot of character. Okay, so now I'm done sketching. Okay, so here are the colors that I chose. This is gonna be the snail outline. This is gonna be his eyes and his mouth. And this is gonna be the shell outline. And then this will be the cheeks and flowers. And this will be the leaf. So I'm gonna start with the snail itself. Now he's smooth, he doesn't have fur or anything, so I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm going around the cheeks so that they look like they're in front of him. And it doesn't mean your line has to touch all the way. You can still keep it not touching in certain parts. And you can thicken it in certain parts, whatever you normally do. I just keep the furriness and texture out. And I decided to make the eyes even a little bit bigger. <laughs> Look how huge they are. <laughs> you can make the little line between the eye and the body even bigger if you want. 
So I messed up a tiny bit here. You can see the circle here is not very circular. It's more of an oval and that's okay. No big dealio. Like I said before, a cool trick is just to kind of thicken your line on the inside here on the outside here just to make it look more even. It can work. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna do the dark, just a little smile. I decided to just go with this, but you can do anything you want like always. And the eye. So the cool thing behind the other circle is you can just eyeball it and try to make sure that it's right in the middle. So before we fill in the eyes, I wanna show you guys other options. Instead of making a perfect circle, you can just kinda do this and this and then fill it in. If you don't have any white to fill in afterwards, this could be a great way to add highlights. You just plan it out beforehand. It's as if there's a highlight here. So make sure just to copy both eyes as if you copy and pasted it, not as if you're mirroring them for them to look right. I'm gonna just fill in mine normally because I do have white and I like to just add that at the end and plan it out at the end. I'm not sure if I wanna add white to the eyes yet, but I think I will, we'll see. I'm just filling in the eyes like always. I gave him such absurdly big eyes, they're almost as big as his shell. <laughs> but I think it looks so cute. I love big eyes on cuties recently. I used to do tiny, tiny eyes. I used to do just dots like this, which was really cute and it's still cute, but I'm just loving the big eye movement. It's just the cutest. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Not perfectly symmetrical, but like I said before, quirks make things cuter. And now we're gonna just do the pink. It's not really pink, it's mulberry. And snails don't really have mul mulberry shells, but I thought it looked cute. Now, because I didn't sharpen my pencil, the lines are a little thicker. Sometimes I do that and sometimes I don't. And I guess I'm gonna leave some of the body to be seen. Since I gave him a tail, I think that does look better. You can do a little squiggle like this under him. That's what real snails look like as they walk. Okay, so there's the outline for my little baby. And I'm gonna just add the little pink of cheeks because I don't ever wanna forget these. Look at that, so cute already. And one more thing I'm thinking of adding is a little detail on the shell itself. Just little lines that just accentuate it. There we go. And if you wanna add some texture to the actual snail, you can do little circles, but very lightly. I guess they kinda of show the texture because they do have a texture to them. It's just very subtle. Okay, so now we're gonna do the leaf. I'm not sure if I just wanna leave it as an outline or just fill it in, we'll see. Here's the stem of the leaf. Oh, I forgot to make it look bitten, but that's okay. That would be a cute addition though. Okay, very cute. I like it as an outline, because then you can notice the middle part and here. But if you wanna fill it in, you can also leave this part white, just kinda of draw around it. And for the details around the snail itself, let's see, maybe, Something like this, cute, very cute. And then with the pink, just some little flowers. I can stop here, but I wanted to add little flowers that I planned. Very simple, they're just like little lines that touch. Be the little dots like always, cause it's my signature style. You can find what works best for you or you can do this. And maybe just add some around the leaf as well. Okay, very, Cute, I am so happy with this. And I also wanna add a little bit of this marker in the shell itself, where I added the little lines and maybe just add a little texture on its own. Man, he's already adorable without any watercolor. I love this little guy, I'm so happy with how he turned out. He's just the cutest, he's so cute, look at him. It's, I think it's the eyes, I'm telling you guys, bigger eyes just make everything cute. If you want to add eyelashes, very simple, you just do it right outside. Don't let them touch the line because they'll look better if they're just kind of floating on the outside. I was gonna add eyelashes, but now I'm looking at it, I'm like, it looks cute without it. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, now let's paint the little guy. I'm gonna go with this uh, literally subtle beigey color. Make sure to test your colors for the body. Very, very subtle. And I'm not gonna go into the eye area because I think it looks better with more contrast. It just almost looks like people eyes. You know how we have white and then the darkness on the inside, the pupil on the inside. <laughs> I'm not good with words. But I think that looks really nice with the contrast. It's really not noticeable because of how subtle we're actually making the body color. And I could just add a little bit right down here just to make it a little bit darker and add a little bit of variation. Now the shell itself, I'm gonna make it uh, purple. I have this color, which goes really well with the color we chose. It's almost the same color. So I'm gonna do the cheeks and the shell. So for the cheeks, always wet the area first. I want it to go outside a little, so I wet it outside. And just add in the color and just let it subtly do its thing. Don't pick up too much paint. And if you do, like I did here, 
Simple, clean your brush, dry it off. It's called a thirsty brush. We're just gonna pick up excess paint. Boom, perfect. So I like it when it blends and mixes and just has that dreamy look where it kind of comes off the page. That's what I'm going for here. And now for the shell itself, gonna make sure I have a good consistency. I like to have a lot of water on my brush so it's lighter and we're just gonna paint it in. It's gonna look really nice with the marker as contrast. Oh my God, I love this little guy, he is adorable. Now I can fill in the leaf or I can leave it as is. I think it looks really cute as is, but maybe I'll just add a tiny bit of color, just, just a touch, just a little touch. And I can put it right next to this one, make sure it's a good color. And I'm just gonna make it very light and leave a lot of white. It still has that fresh feeling and it's so cute. And because my markers are waterproof, I don't have to worry about anything bleeding. I always recommend to use something waterproof if you use it before the watercolor. Okay, I'm gonna dry him. Now that it's fully dry, I'm looking at it, I'm like, I do want eyelashes, so I'm gonna just add them in. I always say I don't want them, but then I do want them. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute, guys, I can't. Okay, so highlights time. Now I'm gonna add highlights to the eyes this time. I usually don't for this whole class, I haven't, but I want to. Sometimes I have to hit my gel pen a couple times just to get it to work. There we go. And I'm just gonna do something really cute, maybe little hearts in the eyes even. You could do that. I'm just gonna do really simple. Just one long line and two little dots around it. Very simple, very cute. Look at that, it just came to life. And then just little pink dots in the cheeks like always. And then I'm gonna just kinda make the shell pop a little bit with just some simple lines. Just make it look like it's shiny and add some dots in there as well. Be a line here, maybe a line here. And I just do this until it looks right. You can fill in the eyes if you want. I just thought it'd be cuter as being white, but it would look cute as beige as well. It's up to you. And once I'm done highlighting, he is finished. This is the cutest little cutie ever. I just want to squeeze his little cheeks. So cute. Look at him. Okay, okay, I'm done. All right, let's do the next one.